hi and welcome back to my channel bring it to life with Gail with craft series number five I am calling this you are terrific um, I got the idea when I made my little Christmas tag out of these little boxes that I purchased at the Dollar Tree I just enhanced it and inside I had made I'm gonna show you I will try to link that video I, I have a hard time linking videos but inside there were all these cute little gift cards to it said Merry Christmas inside I had stamped all of these super cute little cards and I only had one left from the sale that I had done so I'm gonna retie this up and I always try to keep one or take a picture but I'm glad I had it so I can kind of show you and then I just cut out my my paper in the front and the back um, again, I want to show you these. I am using these that I purchased from the Dollar Tree to make ooh, everyday um, ones as well as some holiday ones and some fall Halloween ones as well. I think it's important when you are doing these sales that you have items in your craft fair for different times of year for for birdies because I seen um, online whenever you Google tea gift ideas, they go um, wishing you a terrific holiday season wishing you a terrific birthday so um, here's hoping um, you have a terrific recovery so it's all something to do with tea and um, so we're going to use these as well and some of the white I still purchased some of the white for the holiday or fall time um, I'm going to be using some of my little farmhouse cutouts that I still have um, I'm gonna use this one here see you can just tape these in the front and still have the kind of same look some stickers whatever you have on hand for this time and then I will show you um, you can go on to your documents and use different fonts to write have yourself a terrific holiday season or have yourself a terrific Merry Christmas or anything in that matter but you don't have to use the word terrific um, that is just something that I saw online and I thought it was kind of cute and I want to use for this craft fair series number five I think this is going to be super fun and super fast go get yourself some tea bags make sure that all the tea bags that you buy are all still um, wrapped up twining uh, has it and Bigelow has the tea still in those foil wrap as well as the Dollar Tree they used to have more tea and I noticed the other day they didn't have that many teas left um, I love this kind I drink it quite often actually um, so let's get started on this project um, another one of those quick and easy little projects that you can have at your um, craft fair I mean who would not want to grab a small shopping bag and just have a cute little gift for someone this is something again that you can leave on a door you can leave this on someone's desk I mean this is just a very thoughtful little thing and which woman doesn't like to carry a shopping bag no matter the size so come on let's get creative compared to the white boxes these little ones are a little bit smaller so I was just looking to see if I can just enhance this with a little note um, and by the way all of these come with ribbon perfect don't even need to attach a ribbon because it already comes with it I had purchased these American craft um, pages from scrapbook.com and I'm loving some of these right here and I wanted to make this for a different occasion anyways so I love this one in a eat drink and be cozy thanks love have a good day so I think this is where I'm gonna be some of them I might not be able to use on these pattern ones but the brown one would definitely look good on that one so I'm just gonna cut these apart and then I'm just gonna attach it to the front of all of these the other thing that I think it's important for me to show you is that I've had all of these little pocket cut aparts for a long time and look I was thinking cute this looks on the little blue polka dot box and it fits perfectly um, 
let me get the dimension on these you can buy these I believe I bought these at um, Michael's or Hobby Lobby and they're in the scrapbook collection and their pocket cards so it's oh, 1 and 16th and it's probably the same one but that one says 2 no 1 1 16th and 1 16th so those are perfect little cards that fit right here so what I want to do is I want to put one in the front but I don't want to leave the back so then one of the backs can be like dreams come true you just put it on there or if you want to match paper or I mean anything let's see so the other one says hello magic so maybe it could just be a little heart let's say we just do a little heart on the back and then one like this because there's a little heart in the front of this one so and then I'm just gonna go through and get everything together and again a ribbon came with it so I don't know if I'm gonna use the ribbon right now I'm kind of like why not but so now I'm gonna start with the blue ones and then I'm just gonna keep going I think this one would be cute for our backing and then what could I do for the front not all these are going to be good for this, but oh, that's cute. Work the way with some little stars in the back. Your cup of tea is worth the wait. But that's cute. And then, um, gotta see. I don't have too many of these, but mm, that's kind of cute. Magical memories. And like I said, this is just to have, uh, and the front and back I didn't look. Huh. This moment, it's kind of cute. Magical memories, and it's this moment, you're sitting there with a great cup of tea that a friend had a thoughtful moment and brought you this little gift. How cool is that? So I'm going to put that one there. And dreams come true. And on the other side, it could just be. Let's see. Um, it could be a little cloud with a little heart. So I'm just putting like these little things together like this, so I can use my stash. And they're a really thoughtful gift. Um, these are really super easy. You just follow your lines bend them I would definitely put a tape oops I would definitely put a tape once this is all shut at the bottom let's see here so these are super easy to put together oops until I keep dropping it so get the creases in there so this goes I think this goes like this this, yeah, and this will pop right through. Ta -da. Super easy to put together, and you can put a tape. But I think these are pretty sturdy. I'm just going to show you real quick, and then you can just bend these if you want to. So I think these close all the way down, but I don't think our T will work. So I'm going to go ahead and try to put some of this um, chamomile in this one. Love this bag, and I think three tea bags is good enough. Oh, super cute! Yeah, and they stick out a little bit, but that's okay. If you want to add a little tissue paper, that'd be cute too. But I think I like this look right here. Okay, I forgot which one this one was. Um, that one is these, that one is that, that. Okay, so this is a different one. So I think what I should have taped it first, but I'm gonna look in my other stash this is where the magic happens I love that I'm just going to use my tape here I'm just going to do one real quick so you can kind of see what it would look like I think they're super cute my tape from the Dollar Tree 
Um, I keep running off my other tape. So let's go here. These are going to be so cute. How simple and cute is that? And on the other side could just be something with stars. Let's do the stars. If I were to use this ribbon, I just want to see what it looks like. That would be cute too. So I'll have to think about that one, but that's how easy you attach these little cards to your little tea holders. So here are all of the different little tea shopping bags, the terrific gifts for any occasion. Um, with some music, I'm going to go through some of them. Um, a few of them, like this one, it's a peppermint tea and it, the package is blue, but I'm waiting to see if I can find some blue candy cans. So if you see this, it's because I'm waiting to see for and find those and I'm sure I will soon. Some of them you will see they have a little pepper, um, a little cinnamon stick. And just different one this one as well I just tied a loose bow on this one so they're all a little different let's put some music on so I can show you each one <laughs> idea that I wanted to share with you as we are having a cup of tea. Tea is a gift that is giving any time. It is something that warms your soul. It is something that helps you sleep, helps with some sniffles and sore throat, and it just calms your nerve after a long day of work. So there are different teas out there. There are even some for that little tummy ache. 
So that is why I think that this is a terrific idea for a craft fair or just a simple gift to give to a friend. These are perfect for stocking stuffers. Um, different prices, I would probably go for $2 a piece on these. So I hope that you enjoy craft series number five and I will see you next time. Please remember that I bring things home and I bring it to life and I bring it all with love. And go and sit and have yourself a warm cup of tea on this beautiful fall day. Thanks for watching. Please like, comment, share, and subscribe. Have a terrific day.